Hello, uh, this is Mr. Meisis, and I am going to talk about determining the level of confidence given the margin of error. So sometimes we want to find the uh, level of confidence because we, we're talking about a confidence interval here. Uh, but we're given, all we're given is the margin of error, and uh, we, do, we do need one more thing. We do need to know N. We need to know how many people were polled. So a lot of times we see on the news, like there's a, a news poll and they have a little, on the little side, they say what the, their margin of error is. You know, they're creating a confidence interval. Uh, we would like to know how many people they polled because if we did that, we can determine their level of confidence. So here's what we need to do to figure that out. Uh, first, we need to remember that the confidence interval for a proportions is P hat plus or minus Z star times the standard error of p hat. Now the standard error of p hat is the square root of p hat q hat over n. And for those of you that are in my class, q hat is 1 minus p hat. So it's just the, the probability of you know, not having a success. OK, so we know our margin of error is plus or minus 4%. That means that this whole part right here you see there's the plus or minus right there there's the plus or minus this part right here that whole part is called our margin of error so if we want to this whole part right here z star standard error of p hat must be equal to 0 0.04 well we know what p we're going to know what uh, p hat is because I forgot to mention that we would have to know what, like the news poll usually tells us what the percentage of voters that are voting for, you know, say um, some candidate, right? And let's say that candidate has 35, right now the news poll says it's 35% in favor of that candidate. Well, that right there, that's P hat. So we do have to know P hat too. And usually we do when we see that on those, um, those polls, obviously we're gonna know what that is. So. Uh, we know what p hat is. p hat is going to be 0.35 in this case in my example. And we know what q hat is going to be because q hat is going to be the uh, 1 minus this, 1 minus 0.35, which is going to be 0.65. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in here and we're going to try to figure out what z star is because z star is going to tell us what this level of confidence is. Okay, so uh, we've got Z star. Now we're going to divide this all over. So we're going to have 0 0.04 divided by the square root of 0.35 times 0.65 divided by N. And N was 1,030. Okay, just make a note of that. That's n right there, the number in our sample size. All right, so that's going to be equal to, we're going to do that in the calculator, and we're going to get 2.69. Okay, so that is my z star. So z star is 2.69. So here's what I'm doing here. Level of confidence. This is my normal model. And I'm going to have plus or minus 2.69. So I'm going to have over here negative 2.69. And over here positive 2.69. And I want to find this middle percent right here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and look in my normal model Z table. And I'm going to find the percent underneath 2.69. And then I'm going to subtract that um, from the percent, you know, underneath negative 2.69. So we're, let's go to our Z table here. Let's see if I can get here. All right. So negative 2.6, 2.69 is going to be 0 0.0036. And let's go positive 2.69. So 2.69 is 0.9964. So I got 0 0.9964. 0 0.9964. So the probability that we're between these.
is 0.9964 minus, what was that other one there? Uh, negative 2.69.0036. Oops, 0036. Okay, we're going to figure that out. And that's going to give me 0.9928. So this is my level of confidence. So my level of confidence is 99.28% confident. All right, so confident. Yeah, I spelled that right. So in order to find our level of confidence, given our margin of error, we're going to take our margin of error part. We're going to set it equal to whatever our margin error is. And then we're going to solve for z star, solve for z star, and then we're going to find the probability using our normal model that z is between positive negative 2.69. And that'll give us our level of confidence right in here, okay? And this, in this case, it was 99.28%. All right, so that's how we determine the level of confidence given our margin of error and our p, p, our p hat.